So if you are not a person who's going to be affected by menopause in some way, scroll away, this is not for you. So yes, I'm in pajamas drinking coffee. The morning is when I do my best research. So I'm researching menopause, which is what I do. And I keep seeing this recurring theme in multiple articles, particularly around quality of life associated with stress, fatigue, etc. And while the authors of these articles like, yeah, she's suffering, but, you know, but, 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 but this is a difficult time in her life, but her children are leaving home, but she's getting a divorce, but she's caring for elderly parents. I don't want to get into a discussion about the unmatched emotional and organizational labor that most females take on in a relationship. They've done this their whole lives only thing that's different for these women is menopause. Now, I might be wrong here because I only research women, but you know, in medical school and training, I can't think of a single article where they do this for men, where they take a medical symptom and they're like almost discounting its importance because, well, he's stressed out. It's a difficult time in his life. His kids are leaving home. He's getting a divorce. So when I get curious about something, I realize that other people have gotten curious about it too and probably studied it. And here is what I found. And y'all know I like to come with receipts. So this article is called Quality of Life After Menopause, a population study, and it was from 2000. It's an older article, but I think the information here is so important. You can Google it if you want to see the reference. They followed 481 women ages 40 to 59 and followed their quality of life scores. Menopause alone increased the risk of decreasing quality of life. 10.6 higher fold for vasomotor disorders, hot flashes, night sweats. Three and a half fold increase for psychological disorders. 5.7 fold risk for physical disorders. And 3.2 fold increased risk for sexual disorders. They controlled for age, marital status, education level, number of children, and sexual activity. The only variable shown to cause significant impairment was menopause. The medical establishment needs to stop dismissing what we're going through as causes in the environment. Those causes have always been there our whole lives, and we were able to manage. Okay, I know this was long. Sorry, rant over.